uh, so going going looking at your uh, your, your D line group, uh -huh. um, you know you brought some 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 new guys in through the transfer portal. That's thing. Right. How have they uh, implement you know been been immersed in, in the program and how they going? Man, they they they've came in and joined it well. Uh, they've done some good things and I'm very excited. They brought some depth that, that's definitely needed. Uh, coming off last season, um, and these guys came in and picking things up, trying to get them to stay consistent in what I want, my philosophy, and how I see things, and the things that I'm expecting of them. But they've they've been really well, man, and I'm excited about it. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited working with those guys every day. And then uh, looking at some of the returners, you got like a guy like uh, Komante Hamilton. Uh -huh. This was his first year last year. Yeah. Uh, now that he's got a year in the system, just. Where are you looking for him to take his game to the next level? Uh, where I look for him to take his game to the next level is come out and don't be that same person that we saw last year. Um, I'm, I'm challenging him a lot more, uh, not just to be a leader on the field, but off the field. Not just to be a good player, but a great player. Um, and continue to challenge every day in practice. Uh, that rep can't be good. Good ain't good enough right now. It has to be better. We got to go from good, then get better, then get great. And that's the biggest thing. So he's an everyday challenge, and he's a leader for that room. And he, he takes on that challenge every day and everything he does. Yeah, so when, you know, how have you seen him respond to, to that coach and respond to that, that level of responsibility? Yeah, he's responded great. He's the type of guy to where he wants you to coach him hard. Uh, he wants you to make sure that you're keeping a finger on him and make sure he does everything the way you want it done. Uh, so he, he's, he's took it well. He's took it well, and every day you've seen him get better at some detail of his game. So I'm excited about it. But he definitely wants to be coached hard, and that's what he's going to get. And how are you feeling about the, the depth? Mm -hmm. at that position, just, you know, through and through through depth chart. How are you feeling about the guys you got? Uh, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I think we, we got depth on the edge. Those guys like Kamonte Hamilton coming back or William Whitlow coming back um, and then bringing in a Jalen Joyner. I think that definitely helps us on that edge and then interior with guys uh, coming in like the Darius Jones, uh, the Derek Hunters, um, as well as the Josh Ellisons. And those, I, I think that's some really good depth that comes in and help. And I'm really excited about those guys. Are there any guys that uh, at this point in stage that you – May have surprised you, or, or was kind of taking a, a, a bigger role in, in, in just their play on the field? Uh, I wouldn't say surprised, but definitely some guys that stepped up and some guys from last year that has been better, like the Zy Brockingtons, the Meontay Kimbros, and then like those three guys that I named that just came in, man. Those three guys were three really good players. Um, and watching those guys on the field and doing some things that they're able to do, it's just, it's just mind blowing sometimes. So I'm definitely enjoying having those guys for sure. And at this point, are you still more focused on just working with technique with these guys as opposed to getting more into the scheme? Like, where, where are you at coaching-wise at this point? Man, right now, when it's, during the spring right now, we're always going to make sure that we can live on that technique. Uh, the scheme is on me. It's on me to make sure that you understand the scheme, you understand the X's and O's, and understand how to execute certain things. But at the end of the day, we're going to have to rely on that technique. And in the spring, we got to make sure we're on one accord and understand, hey, this is what we want to do versus this look. When we're in the pass rush, this is how we want to execute. This is how we want to attack. And so it's definitely making sure we're hitting on technique, cleaning all that up, because the scheme is going to be the scheme. It's on me to make sure they understand the scheme. But I got to make sure when it comes to technique and the details, they can handle that as well.